Hi, I'm Matthias Carsten from RME, and today I want to talk about the extreme power output stage of the ADI2 Pro and ADI2 DAC, and how it works with different kinds of headphones. There are several special features that the extreme power output stage has. Uh, for example, it's very low impedance, 0.1 ohms only. It has a lot of power, up to 1.5 watts per channel. It has a very low noise floor, and especially important, the distortion about minus 110 dB is kept until the very highest level. Usually with amps like this, it's that the distortion will rise when you come to the higher levels, but here it stays super low until you reach the clipping point where the amplifier is limited. So my first example here is a high impedance headphone. This is the Sennheiser HD650. In this case, it's the Mastrop version, HD6XX. Uh, this headphone is uh, quite well known. It's quite linear or transparent. It's an open headphone and uh, it has a quite low sensitivity. That means together with the 300 ohms, you need a lot of voltage to drive it to an uh, acceptable volume. So that is no problem with the ADI2 Pro. The extreme power stage, if you turn it here into the high power mode, uh, brings out up to 10 volt RMS or plus 22 dBU in studio level. And uh, you can see here when I raise the volume, that's a lot of acoustics coming out here. I don't want to put it on my head now. <laughs> so. As I said in the beginning, uh, the main point here with the AD extreme power stage is that even if you turn up the volume to nearly full level, it will not distort. That means the power stage in here is absolutely transparent. There's no rise in THD or something like that or in noise. So it's no problem to drive it like this with a headphone. The second headphone is uh, similar to this one. It's the Biodynamic DT990 Pro. It has 250 ohms. It's also an open headphone. And its uh, sensitivity is similarly low. So again, you need the high power mode to have enough voltage to drive the headphone. Sound-wise, they're a little bit different. The Bio is known for having a little bit more bass and treble. That is... Uh, according to your taste, what you like or not, but the ea 2 Pro can easily drive both headphones. And if you want to have quick changes in the sound, remember you have the bass and treble control, which you can use all the time to change it a little bit. The third headphone here is a Fostex headphone. This one is again the Mastrop version, so the TRX00. It has only 24 ohms and is extremely sensitive. So that means this headphone plays very loud. And um, if I connect this here to the ADI2 Pro with the former setting that I used for the high impedance ones, it's not a ghetto blaster, what you hear now, it's really a headphone. So for this one, you don't need high power mode, you just use that low power mode and you enjoy a lower noise level too. Very sensitive headphones can make the lowest level audible and it's better to be able to uh, switch that down. So these three headphones uh, were quite different but still all so-called dynamic headphones. That means basically there's a little speaker in each side um, that works in the usual way. You have the voice coil, you have the magnet, you have the membrane moving. And uh, a way to do this differently I can show here is the Odyssey LCD X, also very popular. This headphone is a so-called planar magnetic uh, headphone. The result of this different kind of construction is very low distortion, uh, very high uh, speaker levels possible, and uh, yeah, a different sound of course. This one now has about 18 ohms and uh, medium sensitivity. And I can check with the ADI2 Pro again. Uh, will there be sufficient volume? Yep, no problem. No problem at all. Of course, because of these magnets mainly, this headphone is quite heavy. So you see there are very nice thick earpads, very soft, which try to take away the weight. 
subjectively, and that works quite well. The last headphone from my small collection is this one, and it's a really special one. It's from the company Head, called Headphone. This one uses systems that are not dynamic or planar. This is made from a so-called air motion transformer, which works like you take a membrane and you multiple times fold it. It's very special, uh, usually used for tweeters, and now the first time in a headphone. Similar to the planar headphone, this one is quite heavy. But uh, again, we have super nice soft and big ear pads with a lot of space and it's very comfortable on the head, so it's not a problem. So with 42 ohms and a quite low sensitivity, the question was, will this one work with an ADR2 Pro? Easy to check. Plug in. Turn up the volume in high power mode. Yes. And the sound is amazing too. What can I say? So here's a small summary. The extreme power stage in the ADI2 Pro and ADI2 Duck is able to deliver a perfect performance transparent sound to very low impedance headphones, to very high impedance headphones, and to very special headphones. And this is because this output stage has near zero THD even when it's driven up to its maximum volume has a very flat frequency response, a very low noise floor, a very low output impedance, and basically it's just perfect.